Welcome and thank you for buying a Birch Grove Tate to Tate Adirondack chair setup. What I have here is your two Adirondack chairs. Take and kind of position them apart a little bit at an angle, a little bit. This will get straightened out. If you notice, this is your Tate to Tate table, and underneath the bottom of it is the two braces that these are attached to. And they go, they're going to line up against each one of these armrests right here. So that is how that's going to come together. And if you notice it's wider in the back, narrower in the front, that's this kind of a thing. So what we do is we take, and first of all, place one side or the other, doesn't matter which one, and line it up. Now these are going to be routed to match your armrests. You'll also notice that the armrests don't have any cup holders in them. There's a cup holder there. We save that in there, you don't need it. So this is routed to match this here, so that's going to be easy enough to line up. And back here. Now it's a good idea. Also take your screws, take them out of the bag when they come in here, put them in a container so you don't lose them. I have, a, I have a spring clamp here, this is one kind, or another kind of a bar clamp here. You want to do that to help tighten everything together. But we'll do that so that your screws don't travel up and you've got a nice tight joint. So first of all, these are going to be inch and three quarter screws, they're going to come in with your kit. You're also going to have a T20 bit to put these together with recommended to have a cordless drill. Now if you've bought two Adirondack chairs, you already know all of this. Your table just comes as an attachment for your Adirondack chairs. So we'll start our screw here. Now I'm going to loosen this up so that I can feel to make sure all right, I'm feeling that the screw is actually riding up, but I've got it in the hole. Okay, now, I'm going to back this off. Probably can't tell it in the video, but this, this started to get a gap in it. And so I'm going to back this off till it's down that it's tight again. And I'm just going to take my clamp and slightly clamp it. Now, I don't have blocks in here. That's best to put blocks in here to protect from denting your wood but I don't need much pressure on these, so I'm just going to go ahead with this. And if you've got your hole lined up, it'll just go right in there. If you feel a lot of resistance, you don't have your hole lined up. So that's important. So we've got this one here. I'm going to take, I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to put the screw on a backside, one of these back ones. So we're going to put it right here. <clears throat> now, as I've said, these are routed, these are made to match the line of this. So this should be flush. If it's sticking over this way or if it's sticking too far back, you aren't going to hit your hole. So you've got to have it lined up pretty close to flush. Start your screw. Now see, we're raising up there. So that means we're not in our hole. So I'm going to go around here <coughs> and see if I can find my hole. I'm going to pull this apart for example here. You can't see it from there, but there's where my screw is, and this right, the hole's right there. So I need to make sure that I'm in the hole. Still not in the hole. If that doesn't line up, we'll take our screw out of here, loosen it up a little bit. 
so that we can move things around a little. Now I felt that move forward, so it went into the hole, see, so that by loosening that up, we gave the table a chance to move around so it'll line up. Now I've got that there. I'll just take it and put a clamp on here again. Tighten this down a little bit. We'll go on the piece that we're screwing in. I've got it in place, and now I'm going to back this out. Until I'm out of the hole on the bottom. And I'm going to tighten this down a little more. So I've got a nice tight joint. We got that one in there. I'm gonna go back to this one again. And you want your stuff to be tight. So at any time, what you've got, you wanna make sure you can clamp all of these down so you get a nice tight joint on each one of them. So now we'll come around to this side. And again, this gets positioned right along. This should all come up tight. Now you can see right now I've got this positioned right here. This is too far forward because this should be lining up flush here. So I'm going to take and push this back. Okay. Take and start our screw. I can feel it's going in the hole, and I can also feel it's riding up. So now I'll back it off a little bit. I can feel the board come back down there. I've got my finger here. I can feel the joint. These come in handy. I like them because they've got the rubber on them. So I'll clamp this with that. They'll hold this in place. I don't like to sink the hole too much so you don't get too much water in here because that'll start working on rotting it apart. And this is treated lumber, but it's not, nothing is indestructible 100%. So you want to have as much, least amount of water sitting in these holes where your screws are. We'll go around to the other side here. that time my hole, my screw lined right up with my hole, I could feel it going in. So back it out. Put my clamp on here. Alright, as long as I'm right here, my clamp's already here. I'll take and put these other screws in. Once you've got the corners in, you've got your thing lined up. Now you've got to put the rest of your screws in here. So we'll go ahead and do that. So after your, all of your screws are in on both sides, things are clamped and tight, you're ready to enjoy your Birch Grove tater tape. And thank you.